Hey guys, in this video, I am going to review solving a system of equations using substitution. I'm going to specifically review not just the steps, but I'm going to also review when you deal with no solution and when you deal with infinite solutions. Okay, so just to recap, we have to make sure that one of our equations is isolated. Then we're going to substitute and solve that variable and then plug in and solve for the other variable. So let's take a look at number seven. In number seven, we don't have one of the variables isolated yet on the system, but I can see here that it's gonna be very easy to get this x by itself. So we're gonna go ahead and subtract five y from both sides to get this to be x equals four minus five y. Now I can rewrite my second equation to revise my system. So now my system is, instead of x plus 5y equals 4, x equals 4 minus 5y, and 3x plus 15y equals negative 1. So here's my equation 1 and my equation 2. So I can go ahead and replace this x with this value for x. So substitute x with 4 minus 5y, as that is, hopefully, where, the, where these lines will intersect. We're gonna check. They may not intersect, so we'll see. Plug this four minus five y in for x. So three multiplied by four minus five y plus 15 y is equal to negative one. Distribute 12 minus 15 y plus, oops, plus 15 y is equal to negative one. When you go to combine like terms, you'll see that your negative 15y and your positive 15y cancels out. So our y's are gone. How can we solve for y if our y's are gone? So listen to um, what happens here. You end up with 12 is equal to negative 1. That is not true. As a result, there is no solution, which means these lines never cross, which means these are parallel lines. What I'd like you to do is double check that our answer is correct in Desmos by typing these two equations in and confirming that they are parallel lines. Number nine is gonna be another special scenario. So let's go ahead and label equation one and equation two. We can isolate equation two for y by subtracting two x on both sides and we end up with y is equal to 18 minus 2x, and my top equation is still 6x plus 3y is equal to 54. So there's my system, and here's my equation 1 and my equation 2. So we're going to go ahead and take 18 minus 2x, which is a value for y, and plug it in for y in equation 1. So sub in right here. And let's rewrite that to be 6x plus 3 times 18 minus 2x. That's equal to 54. So instead of y, we're putting 18 minus 2x, because y and 18 minus 2x mean the same thing. Let's distribute. 6x plus 3 times 18, which is 54, minus 6x is equal to 54. When we go to combine like terms, this 6x cancels with this 6x, and I end up with 54 equals 54. That's not false, but notice how my x's did cancel. My x's did cancel. So it's gonna be a special case. It's either gonna be no solution or infinite solution. Since 54 does equals 54 is true, then this is, must be infinite solutions, which means these are the same line. So in Desmos, go ahead and type in these two equations, the system, to confirm that they are indeed the same line. So that reviews solving systems of equations by substitution, as well as looking at the special cases of how to know if it's no solution or infinite solutions.